So in this video, we're going to talk about the concept of half-life and of course the decay equation. Now, um, all radioactive decay processes have constant half-lives. And so what a half-life is, it's simply the time required okay, for the number of undecayed nuclei to half. So of course, as you can see from this graph, okay, when, your, uh, when the number of undecayed nuclei goes from n naught to half of that, that time span over there is officially called the half-life. Now, because this is a constant half-life process, if I go through another half-life, then of course you expect the number of undecayed nuclei again to half, and so half and not becomes a quarter and not, and so this process will go on and on and on. Okay, and so just remember that, right? All radioactive decay are constant half-life processes. So this makes it easy for us to predict how many undecayed nuclei there would remain in a sample. If I think in time spans, which are in integer multiples of the half-life, but what if you needed to figure out how many nuclei there were in something in a time span that wasn't an integer multiple of the half-life? So for example, let's say you want to figure out what's going on at this, at this time frame here. Let's call this T, right? You want to know how much uh, is left at this point of time, right? So luckily, there is a gene generic equation for this curve. It goes something like this, x equals to x naught e minus lambda t, where x is a pseudo variable, so it can represent a number of things. And uh, some of these things that it can represent would be n, of course, the number of undecayed nuclei, uh, a, the activity. Okay, these are the two common ones. Uh, other things that it could represent would be the mass of the sample remaining or something called the count rate, but most of the time it will be one of these two. And so in this case, since we are looking in terms of n, we can think of it as n equals to n naught e minus lambda t. Okay, so simply substitute this value of t inside here, knowing the lambda, knowing n naught, you can figure out what n is going to be. And so a simple application of this equation, right, we can find an expression for the half-life. And so if we let t equal to the half-life, then of course, n over here will simply be n naught over 2, right? half of what we are looking at. Okay, n naught cancels. And so if we undo the e, we get ln on both sides. So we have ln half equals to minus lambda t half. Ln half, of course, is simply equal to minus ln 2. And so we can say that the half-life is simply ln 2 over the decay constant lambda. 